besties so today we are going to be doing a creating video so um basically since the pronouns update came out i was like for some reason <laughs> i just had this urge to make some non-binary vampires like i don't know why this was the case but like it just came over me the minute i heard pronouns i was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hot non-binary vampires i think so so as a non-binary myself as a they them <laughs> as a they them myself i decided to make two non-binary sims and they happen to be vampires so they are the lorcans so they are married um and i absolutely love them so much like both of them use they them pronouns and i'm just in love with them i'm not gonna lie like i know they're married but like can can, can can i just join or something like you know what i mean like <laughs> they're really cool and like i love them so much so i just wanted to go for kind of like a different vibe for these sims because i feel like a lot of time with vampires um we tend to make the like the normal like the human form very um sort of human vibes if that makes sense but then for the dark form we tend to go very much dark form so i kind of wanted to just combine the two and sort of just make both kind of dark form in a way so that they're very obviously a vampire from the get-go because i kind of imagine that they're around like back in the day you know i don't know when vampires were like i don't know back in back in good old hotel transylvania days i don't even know when that was i'm so sorry i'm gonna stop talking um but yeah so i just love how they turn out so much so we're starting off with ambrose and they are so cool like i gave okay i gave both of them freckles which i know kind of doesn't make any sense because they're vampires and like how would you get freckles you have to be in the sun but like maybe they draw them on all right maybe they draw them on and like freckles are so cool and i can't help it because i just love them and i'm so jealous of people have freckles and like they just naturally have freckles like how the hell like i'm so jealous of you i don't get anything i have nothing nothing darling my skin is just no freckleless it's there's nothing there and it's it's just terrible because i wish i had freckles but anyways yes yeah, so i <laughs> i was no i wasn't struggling with ambrose actually which i was kind of surprised about because i don't tend to make sims like this i i feel like i'm just trying to get my comfort zone with sims lately because i feel like i just make a lot of sims that are similar even though i think that these two are kind of similar i still try my best to make them a little bit different from my normal sims maybe it wasn't that successful but like the eye color and stuff for ambrose is like very light which i like never do for some reason i always go for like brown eyes or green eyes so i thought that was different you know and as for like the hair and stuff i try okay i was gonna say i tried to use one i never used before i've literally used this hair like last video or something it's only been like a couple videos since he's hair but it's so cute um i absolutely love it ever since i downloaded it i just want to use it every time i don't know what it is but like the fringe with everything it just looks adorable there is a cc list in the description down below so if you want to download any of the cc it is all there the vampire form and the human form honestly i'm getting better at doing cc lists i hope you guys are proud of me but yeah so <laughs> i just want to give a little bit of a rant about the pronouns update because obviously i use them pronouns i am non-binary and i I was so happy that they finally did the pronouns update until people uh, started coming forward and showing that they had sims be misgendered they had grammatical errors and most of all for me is the fact that you can't tell sims pronouns in game i did talk about this in my last video but the fact that when you go into game you can't actually see your sims pronouns is the most stupid thing i've ever heard in my entire life like i was expecting for you to be able to hover over a sim and then you know like where it says their age and their name i thought below the name it would say like they them whatever you know what pronouns they have but it doesn't and i just don't understand that because other like when i see sim out in public and i say i use pronouns for them it might not be their right pronouns and i just feel like that's a really stupid oversight i don't know if it was an oversight but the way that this update feels to me it feels like they did it just to shut us up if that makes sense like i feel like they did this pronoun this update as a complete cosmetic update and that it doesn't actually affect gameplay that much which is completely true it doesn't and it's not so much that i want like i don't you know obviously right now we don't need like all the coming out stuff of course that'd be incredible i really want them to add like um different sexualities and stuff that you can select but for the time being i'm glad that they at least added the different pronouns but at least at the very least when i went to make these two married because i wanted them to be a married couple i had to make them husband and wife and the fact that that was the things that it, t it automatically did, the fact that they still have gender terms for stuff like that doesn't make any sense to me because they're trying to be all inclusive with all the pronouns and I'm so happy about that, but then they m overlook something as simple as that. I mean, obviously some non-binary people are okay with those gender terms, but like me, for example, I would not be okay with being called a husband or a wife. So I don't understand how they can overlook such an important factor and the fact that they're still going to be called girlfriend and boyfriend, etc. It just doesn't make any sense to me and I just really can't get my head around the fact that they would overlook 
such a you know important update and the fact that there's still like errors in game where it's like misgendering and stuff is like so bad because people like that that could really affect some people for example like the wedding game pack i can kind of understand that like obviously I'd, I'm, it's a bloody terrible pack the fact it was broken for two months but at least with that it wasn't really affecting anyone directly but if someone's sim self gets misgendered that's affecting someone directly and that's not okay like they can't half do a update like this and that's exactly what they've done i would be fine if they released it like a few months from now and at least made it so it was like you could actually see sims pronouns in game like or if like in the uh, genealogy tab it said just like they them whatever pronouns you know because the fact that you can't see them just really is so annoying to me and i just don't understand how they didn't do that like i said it feels really cosmetic and like it's like a decorative feature that's the way i would like that's the way i kind of describe it is that they just seem like they've done it just to shut us up about the pronouns update and they've just done it in such a way that it just feels like a decoration like you can only see the you can only see the pronouns in cast like what that doesn't make any sense so i'm like really i'm really upset about that i normally i don't mind that much when updates come out and they're a little bit broken or they've got some issues or whatever because you know like with the wedding pack i just didn't buy it like there was no way around it i just didn't buy it but the fact that this is such an important part of like, so many people's lives and then they somehow butcher it still is really not good in my mind in my in my opinion i think it's really bad that they'd even release something like this i know that it's not not like necessarily Maxis's fault. I know that a lot of the time it's EA who like rush them and stuff, but I still think that this is a really bad thing to do. And honestly, it just makes me just really angry that they would release something like this. So yeah, that's my rant. Um, hopefully you guys can see where I'm coming from. I mean, obviously I'm happy they've done the update. Like I'm not gonna say like, I'm not happy about it. Of course I'm happy about it. I just wish they hadn't have done it in such a way that it feels very much like a decoration and like something that doesn't actually affect the game. But anyways, yeah. So moving now on to my so oh actually let me go back to ambrose so with ambrose for the dark form uh, and the human form i went with a suit for them i just thought it looked so cute and i just oh, wow i'm in love with both these sims i'm not going to lie to you i'm not going to lie um so yeah anyways with myers i went with a bit of a different vibe so i kind of wanted to go for more of like a i don't know I'm, I'm really struggle at making like masculine frame sims so this was a lot harder to do than ambrose but yeah i i did struggle a lot but i think in the end and I managed to get them to look how I wanted. I just found this very difficult compared to Ambrose. So I'm sorry if they don't look incredibly amazing. But I am very much in love with both of them. So I do not care. But yeah, um, <laughs> I just love how they turned out so much. And I gave um, I gave Myers a dress and this really cute, like it's got like a fishnet thing. And I just love it so much. I just feel like both of them really suit their aesthetics. And I'm just really happy with them. And I feel like they could be such a power couple. Like I feel like playing these two would be really fun because I can imagine that Myers would be out there like kind of like the way I kind of see it is that Myers kind of like seduces people but like not actually but like does it like and then kills them and then I see Ambrose being like the one that just goes around killing people like outright murdering and I feel like that's just incredible you know <laughs> I'm really here for this dynamic of this couple and honestly I want to add them to one of my gameplays because they just seem really fun to play with and I just yeah I'm really happy with that they turned out again I'm really mad about the pronouns update being so crap and I wish that these two to, I, if I wish it, I didn't go in game and they were called husband and wife and I wish I didn't have to if they had children it would say mother and father and I wish that when I went in game I wouldn't have any bloody misgendering of them being called their wrong pronouns but you know the sims 4 uh is that the way it is I guess and that is just what we have to accept and I'm so unhappy about that fact but um yeah anyways so that's why I'm gonna leave this voiceover guys um let me know what you think of these two sims in the comments below sorry for ranting a little bit but I haven't actually talked about the pronoun update really yet and I just kind of wanted to get out there because this is just how I've been feeling about it and it's been a few days um, since it came out and I'm still just, r just riled up about it like I've been telling my parents about it and they've been like oh my god that is ridiculous and I'm like I know it's ridiculous it's stupid as hell and I can't believe that they'd even do that but anyways I will stop now so um remember to like and subscribe if you want and I'll see you guys in the video I love you guys good bye Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs>
I feel ready now. I see. 